Welcome to the 148th episode of Learn and Speak Tamil Like a Native. And in this video, let us see how you could gradually build into you the habit of including script in your learning. Actually, it's quite easy and you can master it within a few videos. Since there are only few letters in Tamil and learning the script can help you pronounce the words properly. The script and sounds complement each other. It is just a 10 minute video, so please stay till the end. In this video, let us focus just on two things. First, Tamil scripts, that is practical and learning purposes. This means we are not going to focus on the history of the scripts or the evolution of the Tamil scripts and all such academic aspects we are not going to see now. We can have it for some time later and it can be an interesting subject. Now we shall see it from the current usage of scripts. It is important for you to understand its uses and Secondly, learning Tamil scripts through this channel videos. These are the two aspects we are going to see in this video. First, I shall give you some insight about the Tamil scripts and it will be very useful for you to understand this as learners. We can divide the contemporary or the present Tamil into two types as in most other languages, formal and spoken. Formal Tamil, this is the Tamil in news, literature, scholarly debate, newspapers, formal announcements, academic debates, debates and speeches, and movie songs. Movie songs use a lot of poetic words, still by and large it is formal Tamil in nature. And spoken Tamil, this is the day-to-day -day oral communication, both social and even bureaucratic. If you go to a bank or any of the government offices, the communication happens in spoken Tamil. Of course, you'll avoid using slangs. And then television shows, television series, movies, unless it is a historic story, they all very spoken Tamil. Now the important part for you to take note is that formal Tamil requires formal script and casual or spoken Tamil adapts to flexible scripts to mimic the sound of the words as they are uttered or pronounced. This exists in several other languages and definitely in English too. Please wait till the end and I can explain that. What is your name? Formal Tamil. Ungal Pair Enna. Ungal Pair Enna. Even if you say that fastly, it is Ungal Pair Enna. Ungal Pair Enna. So, what you can see is that the words are more clear round. It is not sloppy and it is not muted at any places. It is clear. Ungal payer enna. When you come to spoken, it is unga payer enna. So ungal payer enna becomes unga payer enna. So this is a very clear example of how the spoken language has evolved. And what do you want? In formal Tamil, it is Yenna Vendum. Yenna Vendum. When you speak in a very casual manner, you'll say Yenna Veno. Yenna Vendum becomes Yenna Veno. So, da sound as da is missing and it is nasal at the end. Yenna Veno. Yenna Vendum. Yenna Veno. So, this is a clear way for you to understand how the difference occurs. Now let us see the script aspect of the formal and spoken Tamil. What is your name? Formal language Ungal Payar Yenna. 
when you look at the script of that you have to just write that there's no two ways about it it is ungal pair enna but when it comes to spoken language as you say it is unga pair enna even that ungal becomes unga instead of u it becomes slightly o unga pair enna but when you write that if you look at the script there it is unga pair enna so it is though it is written as unga when people realize that it is just a spoken language being written they'll say that as unga unga pair see pair becomes pair because that is how we say that unga pair enna or it is even okay to write it as unga pair enna unga pair enna unga pair enna it is not much of a difference so though it is written in certain way as people realize that it's a spoken language being written they'll naturally tilt their sounds towards the spoken language it can it is very easy it effortlessly and easily comes to anybody with a little practice and then but just imagine if you write unga that is what i told for the spoken language if you can use this letter o no that is not allowed so that is a little though you have the flexibility but you cannot take complete freedom out of it so it's going to sound out of tamil so it is unga pair enna but the last one i have striked off you cannot say unga pair enna no because that doesn't it is not allowed so there's some flexibility fine but you cannot just write anything to explain it a little further let us see the formal you can see for she it is aval and when you write it formally it is aval you see that just below the formal it is aval and he that is avan and you write it as avan but when it comes to informal you don't say that as aval instead you say ava but you can write it as aval still people will say that as ava when they realize that it's just a spoken language being written or you can even write ava that is fine but when it comes to the informal he that is avan you can see that you cannot miss the avan the in you cannot miss writing it then there's a confusion whether you are saying he or she so you have to write avan but as i told you before once you realize that it's just a spoken language being written your mind will automatically read it as ama though avan is written you'll say ama so that's a very easily your mind will adapt to it even within a couple of videos you'll achieve that i'm sure if you think these videos are useful please subscribe like so that it can reach many more people like you and if you want to access the entire videos just click the logo below here on the right now part 2 let us see how you could include the habit of script learning in an easy way let us go easy with it no stress no stress how can you effortlessly fast track your tamil learning script learning through this channel video that is what we are going to see now i usually make three slides for each phrases as you might be knowing the first one would be like this where you see the whole phrase or sentence lata knows neither to cook nor to drive a vehicle lathavukku samakkavum theriyadu vandi ootavum theriyadu in the second slide you might be usually seeing something like this i split the sentence not at random places but into sensible parts this helps you to further understand 
the sentence or the phrases. The third slide is where we are going to tweak or alter a bit so it can be very helpful to you. I usually leave it silent but hereafter I am going to read them aloud enunciating the words clearly. On your part, please make sure that you read the Tamil script or at least give a glance and repeat what I say. That helps you to internalize both the sounds and the scripts. This may seem a little a bit out of depth for you in the beginning, but you will get comfortable in a couple of videos and you will be able to read and understand just anything, not only this channel video. Once you start reading, you will be amazed at how fast you progress. Do not strain or stress, just repeat, take a casual glance of each of the words and see how amazing your brain picks up words as images. And more importantly, as you see, these are spoken language and then I'm writing, it can give you a guidance to the formal language when you adapt to it quickly. So you don't have to really memorize them. Just taking a glance is enough because as I say, there is always some flexibility in the way you may then alter it and write it slightly differently. So just taking a look at them can greatly improve your script understanding. I'm just giving an analogy here for native English speakers. If you can compare it to English, we have done it. If that is formal, we cannot say that as we've done it, but we will not use the exact letters to convey it. That's why I was distracted. This can be compared to how the flexibility Tamar has, but still it cannot, you cannot take the complete flexibility. The same with let me eat them. You can say, we say, let me eat them. But you cannot exactly write L-E-M-I to mean let me eat them. No. And what are you doing? What you're doing? But we cannot write like you're doing. No. It, is, it has some limitations. This is for you just to compare. This style of writing as it is being spoken is called Urai Nadai. Urai is the speech or the spoken and Nadai is the style. So the style of writing what you hear is called Urai Nadai. That's the style. That's the word for it. And when you speak, when you know these words, you know, it will be dazzling words for you. When you talk to people like this, you know, Urai Nadai and all that even the Tamilians will be very amazed.